Eric Demke from Boylan High School, Illinois grad, and also has had some tryouts with the NFL. And this uh, preseason, or getting ready for the football season, Derek Demke is not at a camp. Derek, what's the situation and what's the future hold for Derek Demke and maybe a future NFL career? Uh, I, you know, I, I signed uh, a contract in December with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, they had to make some roster moves. A bunch of guys got hurt in our first camp. I was unfortunately one of the guys that got released before we really got to do uh, or get in any football-related activities. And uh, I took the opportunity to decide to change career paths a little bit, and uh, I am going to get my MBA in about two weeks at the University of Illinois. And uh, so that was a part on your – but if you did, if you would get a call today, Derek, from an NFL team and say, hey, we're looking for a kicker, would you be packing your bag and, and heading out to see how that would work out for you? Well, I, I actually had two contract offers after I got released. Really? Um, and I, I turned both of those down because um, they weren't opportunities that I thought were great opportunities to win a job this year. So if an opportunity comes where I can, you know, go to a workout or go to a tryout and possibly be playing the next week, I'm absolutely going to take advantage of that. Um, but I'm in the position now where, you know, I've, I've been through the preseason. I've signed the contracts. I know how the, the situation works. So if it's not a situation that is to my liking, um, you know, I'm not going to take it at this point. Do you miss that a little bit, though, the competition? I mean, last year it looked like you were going to get with the Saints. We were all rooting for you back here home in Rockford. And then I think the NFL stuff kind of uh, sneaks in, doesn't it, a little bit? Yeah, you know, it's uh, I've, I've been very blessed to kick well in just about every preseason that I've played in. And it's just about a, you know being at the right place at the right time and having the the coaching staff, the team, and the situation call for having a young kicker. Mm-hmm. And it's that's a rare thing uh, at this day and age when a lot of teams are trying to make playoff runs, trying to have high pressure situations on kickers, and not that I wouldn't be able to handle it. Just I'm not you know a proven kicker, and so if if I go out there and something doesn't go well. Um, you know, it's on whoever made the decision to keep me. If a veteran goes out and doesn't do well, well, they say, oh, we went with the proven guy. You know, that's what yeah. we would have expected that. So that's kind of how it goes. When you look on the thoughts of the NFL process through all this, you, you know, you were a young player. You went to Detroit and had a good tryout, but you were up against kind of a legend up there that's been around a long time. What did you learn from all this, working with uh, different teams and going through the process? You know, I've, I've had the opportunity to play with, um, you know, sign more NFL contracts and, and be a part of organizations that I could have never dreamed about when I first, I guess, went to Illinois and started playing college ball. So really, I, I just feel very fortunate that I had the opportunity to, you know, be in the same locker room as a guy as, you know, like Drew Brees or Thomas Morstead, um, you know, just to experience those things, you know, Calvin Johnson, you know, I'm, you know, I'm out there at practice, you know, working with those guys. So it's just, you know, it's really an amazing experience and something that I will, you know, have for the rest of my life. Is there one guy that you keep in contact with yet, or is there a bunch of guys that that, that you've uh, had preseason workouts with and stuff that uh, are still good friends? You know, fortunately, the kicking community is it's a very tight knit community. There, you know, there's probably forty to forty five guys, yeah. um, you know, at any point in time that are good enough to be kicking in the NFL. Um, so the guys that aren't on a team, one of the 32 guys, uh, you're generally seeing the same guys at the other workouts. Um, so really everybody in the kitchen community is very positive. We all support each other because we know it's a very tough business to be a part of. Um, but, you know, I, I will say, you know, Billy Cundiff and Thomas Morse said uh, two, two of the best guys that you will ever meet, um, mm-hmm. and I talk to them on a regular basis. They're both still kicking, playing well. Um, you know, Billy's not on a team right now, but... He always manages to uh, to find himself on a roster come you know the first couple weeks of the season, and then you know Thomas is going for another Pro Bowl year and down in New Orleans. When you look at the process, you go from Boylan High School to to Illinois, the Big Ten, and then you go into the NFL stuff. Each time there was a big change, wasn't there? You have to prepare different and do some certain things that uh, I don't think people realize how much work and commitment it is, especially for a kicker. No, no, I, I had to completely change my kicking style from kicking yeah, you know, at Illinois versus doing what some of the NFL coaches like. Um, mm-hmm. Kickoffs are completely different. Uh, kicking in certain stadiums, it's completely different. So, yeah, it was it was a big transition, and normally it takes guys, you know, anywhere from one to three years if you're not a drafted player to 
you know, break into the NFL, get a good reputation for yourself, and then land on a team uh, for long term. So it's usually it's usually a long process. Uh, most people only see the guys that are, you know, first round draft picks and make a huge impact mm-hmm. right away, and those guys are great. And but that's that's a very rare thing, and uh, and actually the the sport of football in the athletic world. When you look at the other opportunities in professional football, the Canadian Football League, I know they just changed their rules for kicking to make it more convenient for a kicker. The Arena League, did you ever take any looks at that, or was the NFL your main goal, Derek? Uh, you know, I had some situations um, probably two years ago when I got released from Tampa to go up to Canada and play up there, and that was, you know, not that I'm ruling it out, but it was not my main goal and my main focus. My main focus is kicking here in the NFL, and that's you know that's that's what I want to accomplish and that's what I'm working towards. You know the Field of Dreams movie has a character in it, the the baseball one called the guy called Moonlight Graham who got up with the the big team but never got a bat. Do you ever still dream about that actual kick in an actual game? I mean, you played plenty of preseason games and performed great, and now you've never had that chance. Was, was that something that maybe you dream about once in a while, Derek? Oh, you know, everybody, you know, I dream about a 15-year NFL career. Of yeah. Every athlete who has played a sport, um, you know, dreams about being the Michael Jordan of their sport. But, uh, you know, I, like I said, I, I have accomplished more than I ever thought I would. You know, my family and friends got to go to, uh, you know, tons of NFL and Big Ten stadiums and watch me play. And mm-hmm. I was just, like I said, very fortunate to to be able to do all that and enjoy that with them. So that was I have more fond memories than regrets about not being able to do a couple things. So. You know, you went to Boylan. Boylan has turned out some uh, people that have gone to professional uh, sports right now. Jake Smolinski's with Oakland, and there's things like that. Do you guys ever uh, shoot the bull about things in, in the different sports or get a hold of anybody that you uh, knew here at Boylan? You know, I haven't talked to Smo in probably two or three years. He was actually very good friends. He was a year older than me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was very good friends with one of my best friends in high school, Zach Seacott. He played wide receiver for our class. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Smo, when I would come back from college and Smo was home from training, we would all hang out and, you know, and talk about stuff. So he's a, he's a great guy. And to see him, he was a great leader on our high school team. And to see him, um, you know, accomplish what he's accomplished. And he's a perfect example of if you stick with it long enough. Yeah. You know, uh, something good can probably happen. So it was great to see him. And then, you know, I've worked out with Dean a few times when he's been mm-hmm. home. And, you know, Dean's got a chance to go to the next level. He's a phenomenal guy, um, you know, better person than football player, even though he's a great football player. And I think he has, a, you know, if he has a good year, he has the potential to take things to the next level as well. Do you share some of those experiences with, like, dealing with agents and uh, coaches and things like that with Dean? You know, I haven't yet. Um, if the situation arises where he needs some advice, you know, he has my cell number. I'm sure he'll reach out, but it's uh, <laughs> it's quite the process. You know, everybody thinks that they have yeah. an idea of how it goes, and mm-hmm. until you experience your first kind of maneuvering through, you know, contract situations and negotiations and trying to land in the best spot where you can win a job, not necessarily where you're going to make the most money or anything like that, it's, it's quite an experience. So. Let's take a... Uh, Step back real quick before we let you go. Uh, Boylan High School, what was one of your fondest memories of playing on the football team at Boylan as you were one of the top kickers in the state of Illinois? You know, I, I, we had such a close-knit team um, both my junior and senior year. Uh, even though we lost the Lake Zurich both years, um, <laughs> both of those Lake Zurich games were just phenomenal games to be a part of and to play in. Um, you know, we had different players just play absolutely outstanding games in both of those and um you know being able to be in a competition like that with uh another team who i think they went on went on to win state um and then actually one of the guys that played on the team uh came and played in illinois with me and i roomed with him the summer of my freshman year so it was just it was a great experience to you know be in such great games like that uh throughout my high school career so that was that was the best to play those games with my teammates you know nothing compares to that and uh, also at Illinois State, they've got a, a Boylan kicker there, and I might have a chance to start this year, uh, Slattery, and he is an impressive kicker. Did you ever get a chance to work with him? And I know you enjoy working with young kickers and, and helping them out with their uh, way they, they punt and kick and all those things. You know, Sean was actually, I would if he would have just kicked instead of playing every other position on the field too, mm-hmm. you know, I think he could have, you know, gone to the whatever school he wanted to go to and, you know, not that anything is wrong with where he went, um, mm-hmm. but he was just phenomenal. He was way better than I was when I was in high school. Um, but I did get to work with him when he was in high school. Um, 
and I, I think he has extremely high potential, um, you know, once he gets things rolling. Um, and, you know, he's, he's definitely going to be a guy to watch at the next level in a couple of years. Well, Derek, thanks so much for taking time to join us, and hopefully maybe you'll still get that call because that's got to be in the back of your mind. But we just appreciate you taking time today to talk to us and update us on what Derek Dimke's doing. No, it was a pleasure. Pleasure talking to you guys. Uh, I look forward to hopefully talking again soon. We've been talking with Derek Dimke, a Boylan grad, Illinois grad, and NFL place kicker. For the StateLineSportsHub.com, I'm Dave Schmidt.